Today, we are going to review replacing the hard drive on the Hewlett Packard CM4730 multifunction device. After removing the formatter board, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the 3.5 inch drive from the formatter. The original drive is a 3.5 inch drive. You want to pull the SATA data cable and remove the power supply cable. To remove the drive, there are two black pieces right here and here that flex. You can pinch these and then push the drive forward slightly and it will lift out of the grooves that it rides in. This drive and the mounting harnesses is not going to be used going forward. The replacement drives for these are two and a half inch laptop drives. They should come with two rails that will be used to mount the drive inside the formatter board frame. You're going to want to line up. There's a pin here and a pin here and then line these up with the screw holes. There's no threading, they're just push pins. So you just snap them into place. Same thing on the opposite side. Once these are in place, the drive is going to fit in these cutouts on the underside of the frame. So the frame was already designed to support a two and a half inch drive. So this is going to dr drop down like that. You're just going to slide it forward. You can squeeze this over a little bit. This is the release mechanism. It goes in a little easier if you just pre-release it to get the slide in. Just Jiggle a little bit, make sure it stays in place. From there, you just want to reinsert your power cord and your SATA data cable. This drive has now been replaced with a two and a half inch drive. You can reinsert the formatter board into the CM4730 and the repair is complete with replacing the hard drive.